Once again, it's top tip day at the business. Now, a recent case concerned a tragic death from carbon monoxide poisoning. It was a tragedy not only due to the loss of life, but because it was entirely avoidable. So what happened? You wouldn't run a car inside a garage without being concerned about the exhaust fumes, but somehow it doesn't seem to be as obvious that the same problem exists with generators. Even though it may be on a smaller scale, the generator still gives off toxic gases, including carbon monoxide. So here's the story. The semi-derelict building, in Mitcham actually, was due to be turned into a self-storage facility. A contractor had been appointed to manage the refurbishment. They wanted to make sure that the building was not damaged by vandals or thieves, so contracted a security firm in to provide a 24-hour patrol. As there was no electricity supply to the building, the contractor installed an electricity generator so that a portable heater and lights could be used by the security guards. On the night of February the 16th, 2008, a self-employed security guard was looking after the building, but he was found dead at 1.45 p.m. the next day on the second floor of the building. He had died from carbon monoxide poisoning. The generator was positioned in another room off the same corridor. There are two significant points in this case. The first is the use of the generator in an unventilated place. The second is the poor management of loan working risks, because this could have been avoided if another member of staff had been present. Where a generator has been used, always site it outside in a place where the exhaust fumes will be readily dispersed. Protect it from the weather and make arrangements to provide noise insulation to avoid annoying the neighbours. Don't forget, they will also need air things to take electrical safety advice as needed. If your staff work alone, carry out a risk assessment of their activities and once you're happy with the work can be carried out safely alone, ensure that there are good procedures for communicating with them. Thank you for watching thebusiness.com.